Hi everyone, this is DJS Animation 100 here with another video on Pencil 2D. Today we're going to be learning how to thumbnail our drawings in version 0.5.4. If you don't know what version you're using, just look up on the very top of the window. It should tell you which version you're using. If you have trouble finding that, just simply go to the menu bar, click help, and click about. And it should tell you which version of Pencil 2D that you're using. Anyway, before we begin, let's adjust the settings that I'll be using for drawing my thumbnails. You see on the right hand side of the screen, where it gives you your colors, red, green, blue, and alpha. Make sure you have the black color for your pencil tool selected. And under alpha, just simply scroll down the button here until you have a faded type black. Uh, this will give you that feeling where well, if you're doing a tablet, if you have a tablet, this will give you a feeling of lightly sketching. And then if you want to make the lines darker, just simply uh, either scroll the alpha channel up or you can uh, keep, color, keep drawing over the line until it gets darker and darker. That's the way I usually do it. That tends to help me with my lines and everything. So in a way, let's get started. Now I'd like to remind you all that um, I time lapse this video, so I don't usually draw this fast. It's just 27 by about 30 minutes worth of recording footage that I've done with the uh, thumbnailing my animation drawings. So I'll be speeding this up just to illustrate how I do my thumbnails. Anyway, uh, as you can see, I'm sketching, trying to figure out what to draw actually. Uh, at this moment, I don't know what to draw or what the thumbnail, so I'm just thinking about it. But then, uh, I got an idea of drawing a girl yawning, so that's what I'm going to do here. So as you see, I'm starting off with a circled head. Drawing some eyes. Try to start over. Okay. I'm drawing the, drawing the head. Drawing a circle for the head. Then drawing a middle line for the center of the head. Another guy line for the eye, eye line. Drawing in the eyes. Oh, and another thing, uh, I'm going to be using my shortcut keys a lot in this, so just to let you know, I'm using the shortcut keys. Uh, you can also customize the shortcut keys. I think it's going to file and then preferences. But in a way, for me, I think the pen tool is P, the hand tool is H, and a lot of other things. I think the onion skin, onion skin and previous is O and a lot of those shortcut keys so I'll be using those as I go along right now I'm almost done with the, the face of the head I'm still trying to put some guesswork into what I would like the pose to be but I do know that the girl yawning has to look tired and she probably has some wrinkles on the eyes so that's what I put there um, I say she's getting out of bed or just got out of the bed so her hair is going to be messy so I'm going to make sure her hair is long and messy as you can see I put in the neck and the uh, upper body there I'm drawing in the hair now I'm going to clean up a little bit so it'll be easier to draw. Another thing about drawing thumbnails is you have to zoom in way close. And uh, over on the left side, your brush size is uh, 2.0. You can always adjust it, but as soon as you click on those tool and click on another tool and then come back to the pen tool, it's going to go back to 2.0 for some reason. That's just the way this uh, version of Pencil 2 is. So. If you don't want to go back and forth between switching the brush sizes 
for this. Just uh, stay with 2.0. Just zoom in as much as you need to. Anyway, I finished my first uh, my first keyframe drawing here as a thumbnail, and I'm moving on to the next drawing, which will most likely be a breakdown. Again, this is just thumbnails, not the actual key animation drawings. They just give me an idea of what I'm doing and how to move into the next pose. That's another thing. This this part of the uh, process is really important, thumbnailing your drawings. If you have like a premise of what your animation would be like, let's say a boy jumps over a fence, um, it's best to thumbnail your drawings about what poses you want to use or what angle you would like the poses to be in and stuff like that. Along these thumbnails, you would need to plan out not only the posing, but the expressions on the face, the gesture that they're moving in, uh, also the line of action. Um, if the arms are moving around in arcs, you have to pay, pay attention to where, where to join the arc lines and stuff like that. That's very important because um, that's uh, telling you the flow of the movement and without your arcs or lines of action it, the animation won't be as readable as it would be if you did use them so that's something to keep in mind if you are struggling with lines of action or arcs and how to actually execute all that through your drawings then I suggest you do some research on it there are some pretty good YouTubers who are professional animators so they can break it down for you about uh, using your arc lines. Uh, create a gesture that will aid the next drawing and the next drawing and so on. Sorry if it sounds like I'm rambling, I'm, I'm talking as I go. Anyway, uh, with this breakdown drawing that you see is finished here, I was going to have her duck down because she's beginning to yawn. So in this third drawing here, drawing C, she's going to stretch upwards with her arms up in the air and her mouth is going to open wide for a big yawn. As you see here in this third drawing, I'm still trying to get the expression right. I seem to be struggling with it for a little bit. It looks like she's about to scream on that one, so I'm erasing, erasing the mouth. I'm going to start over. I think this type of mouth is a lot better with this expression. Uh, I'm still going to have the tongue dangle in the air as she lets out a yawn. Uh, and again, th these thumbnails only took me about 30 minutes to do, so that's not bad um, for playing out an animation or something like that. But. Uh, Always uh, begin your animations with thumbnails if you're having trouble coming up with something or how to plan out a scene. Okay. Just straighten out the wrinkles in the face to, let's see. Uh, that looks pretty good, I guess. Now with the body, and you see I'm still drawing there. Okay. Now with the body, watch very closely on how I draw at the body using a few lines. I'm only drawing out the flow and direction of the body parts there. And again, sorry if there's any glitches in the 
just uh, in the recording footage still working on getting a new uh, desktop recorder but in a way as I mentioned before you can see that pose I'm trying to exaggerate the uh, bend in the chest and the uh, waist and the hips almost like an angular shape and you see I'm trying to stress out the uh, the flow in the arms and the chest down to the waist and the hips I think uh, it seems to be more appealing when you uh, I, I guess it's a straight against curve if you ever heard that type of phrasing straight versus curve when you have your C curves, your S curves and then, then you have your straight lines um, it makes the character more appealing when they pose in those type of shapes when your character let's say for example uh, when, she's, when he or she is running fast you can find the lines of action whether they be a straight line or S curve or let's say she's about to roll or he or she's about to roll and you can find a C curve in the gesture that she's posed in it just makes the drawing a lot more appealing when you um, work within those principles of lines of action with the C curve, the S curve and the straight line now I'm just uh, adding in the hair, anything that I've missed, I'm just going to add details to it. Um, now on the skeleton, I'm now fleshing out the character, adding in the neck, adding the flesh on the arms, adding in the clothing, <clears throat> and, it's, and it's a good idea to research anatomy when you're doing this because um, you, you uh, just assuming you want your characters to be proportionally anatomically correct and when if you need to it's, it's alright to um, if you, excuse me if you don't like a pose just you can you can go ahead and erase it because um, you're looking for the best pose possible so if you have to keep trying five or six times it's okay since the thumbnails you're planning out your poses for the main key drawings that you'll be making later on. So it's always good if you need to make adjustments. You can do that now with when you're doing thumbnails. Okay, that's drawing C. Now for the last the last drawing, I believe, drawing D. This would be when she settles down. She begins settling down from the yarn. So I'm planning on putting the head turn as she stretches from drawing C into drawing D. I'm still keeping that uh, droopy expression because I uh, assume it's early in the morning and she's letting out a big yawn. And again, uh, these type of videos where I'm talking through the videos seems to work a little bit better for me because it's easier to edit. Um, but then again, I don't always have the luxury of having time myself to actually uh, record my voice for these type of videos. So I hope you do like them. If you like uh, for me to talk in these videos or you'd rather have the text on the screen, please let me know in the comments. I would appreciate your feedback. Okay, as you can see, like I said in the third drawing, I'm filling out the pose, sketching very simple lines. It's, it's actually best to just uh, sketch just a few lines, not that many. Don't worry about adding details when you're just trying to fill out the pose because what will happen is you're be so focused on getting into the detail or adding so much detail and not really worrying about the pose that when the pose doesn't work then you have to erase everything including the details and that gets a little frustrating sometimes <clears throat> so even though we're in the thumbnailing phase when you get into the key animator phase um, 
it would be a good idea just to sketch out the skeleton of your character um, mainly focusing on the pose that you would like for them to be in unless the parts of that character is the main action like let's say this character is playing with their hair so you would add in a few lines for the fingers and a few lines to represent the direction of the hair or how she would be playing with the hair. It's best not to add too much detail but just add in um, as little or a few lines as possible just to stay focused on the main um, the overall gesture and motion of the pose. Okay, as you can see in this pose, she's covering her mouth a little just to settle out of the stretching pose that she did in the third drawing. And usually when I draw my hands, I draw them like a Dr. Seuss type thing where the middle and ring finger are close together or almost merged into one. I tend to do that most of the time. I, it, um, it's not necessary but it just helps me the way I draw and again I drew this these drawings with a drawing tablet and as you can see it's it's difficult because I would I almost like it had my fingers pressed too hard on the drawing stylus or something but uh, my fingers was hurting afterwards I hope you enjoyed this little look in on how to draw thumbnails. In the next video, we'll be looking into how to use these thumbnail drawings into creating uh, key animated characters. And always remember to save your work because during the um, rough animation phase, I forgot to save my work and wound up losing all of it. So I'll show you a little bit of that in the next video. Thank you for watching.